Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here back with another week of Destiny Zerg predictions. So if you guys are new to the channel, I do predict Zerg's inventory just about every single week. I try my best to get the weapons and the Charles of Osiris map predicted for you guys a little bit early so that we may be able to see what Zerg sells before he actually sells it. So I don't get it right every week, but I do try my best to get at least one piece of gear accurate every single week. So this week we are going to start things off with the Warlock class. So the Warlock last week was the only class to not receive a new Rise of Iron Exotic. They did receive one in the first week with the Transverse Steps, but I do believe this week we will be seeing a new Exotic for the Warlock class. So although Zer did just sell two pieces of Exotic gear that are brand new with the Rise of Iron last week, I do really hope he sells another one today for the Warlocks. So this time around, I think the Warlocks are going to be getting the Astrocyte Burst. So this is Now, this is a new helmet brought to you with the Rise of Iron. Now, this thing looks pretty amazing, and now, I haven't actually tested it out for myself or seen it in person just yet. Now, I did look up the images on the Bungie Armory, and the perks on it are quite nice with a reduced blink cooldown. So, like I said, I've never used this before, so I'm not really too sure how much it will reduce the blink cooldown, whether or not it's anything like your one but I do really hope this time around that he sells this helmet so I can test it out for myself. And I really do like using Blink on the Warlock, so that would probably make things a lot easier in Trials. And being able to get around even faster than normal with that reduced Blink will definitely make for a pretty interesting game. So if he sells that this week, I'll definitely be picking it up and testing it out all weekend. That is definitely my most sought after exotic right now in the Rise of Iron DLC. So I'm really hoping he sells that this week for the Warlocks. So with the Warlocks out of the way guys, let's get into the Trials of Osiris prediction. So although Zerd does come out on Friday, Trials of Osiris does as well, so I do like to try to predict the map. And last week I actually did get it right with Floating Gardens. So if my prediction this week is correct, I do believe we will be seeing the map Skyline. So the Rise of Iron has brought us four new DLC maps with Skyline, Last Exit, Floating Gardens, and Icarus. Now, We've seen all of these maps so far in Trials of Osiris except Skyline. Now, I would think that it would be Icarus. In fact, I would really hope that it would be. The only thing about Icarus is that it's a PlayStation exclusive map, so I don't think that it ever will be Trials of Osiris just because I don't really think they would have Xbox and PlayStation have a separate Trials of Osiris map, which is why Skyline would be the only map we have left from Rise of Iron to actually come into Trials of Osiris this weekend. So I do believe it will be Skyline. If not, we'll probably see one of the older maps back from year one. Hopefully it'll be Widow's Court if we do see one of the older maps. I've really been wanting to play on that map recently, and it hasn't been the Trials of Osiris map in quite a while either. So with all that out of the way, guys, let's get back into the Zer prediction. This time we are going to get into the Titan class. Now, the Titans last week got a brand new Rise of Iron Exotic, the Thagomizers. Now, in my opinion, those are some of the craziest looking gauntlets in the game I've seen. They're just giant. And they look a little awkward, but at the same time, they kind of just go with the Titan, and they do look kind of cool. So hopefully you guys did pick those up last week. I know a lot of my friends did, because they didn't have them yet. But for this week's exotic armor piece, I do think that you guys are going to be getting the Ruin Wings. Now, these aren't new or anything like that, but they are pretty good gauntlets. They have a, an exotic perk on them called Seeds of Ruin, so that heavy ammo drops more often and will contain more ammo in each drop. So these are actually really great gauntlets if you're running the raid. I know a lot of people are going to be running that hard mode raid on the 18th when that comes out. So you guys will probably be going through a lot of heavy synths. And with the Ruin Wings, you'll, you probably won't need as many heavy synths just because every time you pick up ammo, you'll be getting more than a normal amount. So these will help you in PvE, especially in the raid if you're going through a lot of heavy ammo, I know we, which I know I will be for the boss fights and just trying to learn the new mechanics of the hard mode raid. So the, these gauntlets will definitely be coming in handy a lot this week, so if he sells them and you don't have them, or you've just never really used them at all, I would definitely try to take these out of your vault or buy them from Zer this weekend, because they will definitely come in handy during the raid, if you're going to be on your Titan. Now finally, we do have the Hunters for this week. Now I would really like to see the Frosties come, however, the Hunters did just receive a new Rise of Iron Exotic last week, as well as the Titans, so I don't think that the Hunter is going to be seeing a new Rise of Iron exotic this week, possibly next week, but I could see them putting this off for a few more weeks because those Frosties are just so good. So for the Hunters this week, I do think you guys are going to be getting a chess piece. So this time around, I think that you guys are going to be getting the Crest of the Alpha Loopy. So Zer has brought this many times before, and it's not really anything new to Destiny, but if you guys haven't really seen this chess piece before, or just aren't really into Destiny as much, or play on every single day like a lot of people do, the Crest of the Alpha Loopy just increases the revive times, 
in PvE and in PvP. So like I said, with the raid coming out next week and Trials of Osiris as well, this is basically the chess piece to run on either class. You can pretty much just run it whenever you want because it's just going to help your team get revives a little bit easier. Now, unfortunately, in the hard mode raid, there most likely won't be any revives. So if you're trying to use that in hard mode raid, it really won't help you too much there. But in Trials of Osiris, I know that a couple of my friends have used this to help me uh, in Trials of Osiris. And this has definitely made a big difference, especially after the revive nerf that came in the April update. So with all of these Zer predictions out of the way for the armor, we finally do have to get into the weapon here. So ever since the Rise of Iron has come out, Zer has not actually brought a new weapon from the Rise of Iron. Now unfortunately there hasn't really been too many weapons added in with the Rise of Iron. A lot of them are just exotic quests like the Thorn or the Galahorn or the Kibustov. A lot of those weapons are just for quests only and unfortunately Zer won't really ever sell them because you have to do the quest to actually get them. So the only Rise of Iron exotic weapon that he really could ever bring is the Trespasser. Now unfortunately I do not think that this will be the week for the Trespasser but like I said with the raid coming I think we're going to be seeing the Red Death come this weekend. So if you guys have never used the Red Death that will actually help you stay alive quite a lot especially in the raid. If you're a lower light level than you really are suggested in order to complete the raid then just swap on the Red Death and that should definitely help you guys out this week because it does grant you additional health. Every time that you get a kill that is precision it will actually regen some of your health. So I would definitely use this in the raid, and I know a lot of my friends for the original raid back when that first came out, they were running this all the time because their light levels weren't that high, and this was helping them get through the raid and stay alive so that we could actually complete everything. Now in the hard mode raid, keep in mind there usually aren't any revives, so you guys will definitely need to be alive for the entirety of every boss fight. So like I said, this red death can definitely help you guys do that, and if you don't have it yet, I would definitely pick it up this weekend and infuse that thing so that you can use it in the raid this week. So those are all of my predictions for this week guys, as always be sure to leave your predictions in the comments down below, I do like to check out and see what you guys think that Zer is going to bring, especially for the Trials of Osiris map as well. So hopefully you guys did enjoy, if you did be sure to drop a like down below, and if you're not be sure to subscribe for future Destiny guides and videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.